hello welcome in this video we are going to uh, define the concept of topological equivalence of two topological spaces actually this concept is defined on the set of all uh, topological spaces we consider two uh, topological spaces x and y uh, when can we say that uh, the uh, spaces are topologically equivalent uh, for that there must exist a, exist a function f from uh, the first space to the second space see the function f from uh, x to y must exist um, uh, in addition to that this function must satisfy four conditions first condition is that the function uh, is uh, one to must be one to one uh, or it is uh, injective the function must be one to one or injective and the second condition is that uh, uh, it must be one to uh, then the third condition uh, is uh, uh, that the requirement that f must be uh, con uh, the function f must be continuous and uh, the last condition the fourth condition and that depends on uh, that is uh, on uh, that condition uh, uh, is on the existence of the uh, yeah, uh, on the function f in ways which exists here uh, because uh, the function f is uh, 1 to 1 and 1 to we know that the inverse function f in ways uh, exists in this case and so uh, that condition is on uh, that um, and the fourth condition is on uh, the existing uh, inverse function f inverse and that also must be uh, the inverse function must also be continuous so uh, to sum up uh, the uh, all the uh, conditions all these conditions first condition is one to one f must be one to one second condition is f must be one to uh, third condition f must be uh, f must be continuous and uh, fourth condition is that f uh, f inverse must be uh, f inverse must be uh, or uh, must be also be uh, must be continuous f inverse must also be continuous then uh, we say that f is a homeomorphism and the function existing function f uh, is a homeomorphism from x to y but we can also see that uh, when f is uh, a homeomorphism uh, there exists the uh, inverse functions uh, its inverse function f inverse and then f inverse must also be a homeomorphism so we are coming to uh, some additional uh, 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 description on uh, the situation see uh, you can uh, see that easily we can verify that the uh, the, ex the topological equivalence topological equivalence uh, is is an equivalence relation actually uh, that 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 equivalence relation is uh, defined on the set of all topological spaces uh, we will uh, explain uh, it further but uh, before that you know you, you may note that the topologically uh, equivalent we uh, say that uh, topologically uh, if if two topological spaces are topologically equivalent we can also say that they are homeomorphic so homeomorphic the word homeomorphic is used uh, in the e uh, in equal meaning uh, that of uh, the topologically uh, equivalent the concept of topologically equivalent can also be called uh, uh, can also be called homeomorphic okay coming back to uh, the additional uh, description uh, see how can we say that how can we prove that uh, the topological equivalence which is defined here and uh, that, uh, that that's a relation topological equivalence is a relation uh, which is defined from uh, from one topological space to another topological space how can we say that uh, this relationship is actually an equivalence relation for that uh, uh, we have to refer uh, uh, a figure uh, yeah we have to refer the figure and uh, mm, and explanations uh, following that uh, figure see so this is the figure given here in this figure you can see uh, three topological spaces x is the first topological space and y is the second one x is a uh, x is the first space and y is the second space and uh, you can see that a function f as uh, as, as as explained uh, uh, earlier we, uh, we uh, that function f exists from uh, x to y so uh, see uh, this is the function f is uh, f is the function uh, which exists from x to y uh, that function uh, has the follow uh, has the has the four properties uh, so uh, there uh, there must exist f inverse there must exist f inverse from y to x 
and this f inverse must also be uh, it must also be a homeomorphism since f is a homeomorphism then f inverse must also be a homeomorphism and the third uh, topological space is uh, is that uh, which is given here so z is so uh, x y and z are, are the three topological spaces and uh, it's also given that g is a homeomorphism uh, which exists from x to z then we know that g um, inverse can also exist g inverse is an uh, is, is a homeomorphism from z to y thus we have homeomorphisms uh, f from x to y f inverse from y to x and uh, the homeomorphism g from y to z and g inverse from uh, z to y now we can think about the composition uh, composition of the homeomorphisms g and f see consider the uh, see uh, that is the uh, uh, that is given here uh, we are uh, we can we are considering the homeomorphism uh, g composition f uh, from where from which space actually it is defined g composition f is defined from x to uh, z now we can uh, see that um, g composition f is a uh, one to one and one to it's because f is one to one uh, g is one to one uh, f is 1 to 1 and 1 to g is 1 to 1 and 1 to therefore g composition f uh, is clearly 1 to 1 and 1 to uh, then uh, consider uh, the inverse of uh, g composition f g composition f the whole inverse uh, that we consider and you can see that you can uh, write that it does uh, you uh, uh, it's equal to uh, we know that it's equal to g composition of the whole inverse is equal to f inverse uh, composition uh, g inverse since f inverse and g inverse are uh, continuous we know that f inverse and g inverse are continuous and therefore uh, g composition of the whole inverse uh, which is uh, written here as which can be expressed as a, uh, the composition of f inverse and g inverse and that must also be continuous uh, since f and g are uh, continuous functions, okay. Uh, so see here at this at this moment we can say that uh, since uh, g uh, g composition of uh, the whole inverse is also continuous, due to this reason, see uh, we can uh, say that uh, x is uh, x is topologically equivalent to uh, z. So um, uh, here first of all we uh, we saw that uh, uh, x is uh, topologically equivalent to y and then uh, we saw that uh, y is topologically equivalent to z and uh, both are uh, given uh, uh, given facts about the topological spaces and then using these facts uh, using these uh, properties of uh, 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 the topological spaces we can uh, we have now uh, proved that we have shown that uh, uh, x is topologically equivalent to z uh, using the composition how do we uh, show that x is topologically equivalent to z uh, for that we uh, we used the composition function g composition f uh, g composition f is uh, uh, is continuous uh, uh, similarly uh, we can uh, show that uh, f, uh, it's inverse uh, it's inverse function that is decomposition of uh, the whole inverse that is equal to uh, f inverse uh, composition g inverse and that's also continuous since we get that all these uh, four conditions on uh, on the uh, on the composition function g composition f uh, we can uh, conclude that uh, uh, it's a, it's a it's a homeomorphism g composition f is a homeomorphism and therefore uh, the space x is homeomorphic to z that's what uh, what we get uh, when x is homeomorphic to y and uh, y is homeomorphic to z we get that x is directly homeomorphic to z where does uh, all these uh, description uh, implies that uh, the relation see what is the relation here uh, the equivalence uh, sorry that uh, um, uh, the function the existence of uh, uh, e uh, the the uh, the topological space x the first topological space is equivalent to no it is not the equivalence relation we are going to show that it is an equivalence relation finally we will conclude that it's an equivalence relation but uh, uh, the relation uh, the relationship that uh, x is topologically equivalent to y that is the relation uh, which is defined here uh, x is topologically equivalent to y and that relation is first of all we have uh, proved that it is transitive all the descriptions all all the uh, previous descriptions uh, imply that uh, the relation uh, is uh, transitive 
uh, how can we, uh, we can uh, how, how can we uh, show that uh, this relation uh, is uh, reflexive see uh, for that you have to consider uh, we have to consider uh, the identity uh, function from x to x see we want to show that x is uh, every topological space is uh, is related to uh, the same topological space or every topological space is topologically equivalent to uh, the uh, the same topological space uh, it's uh, it's a simple um, uh, exercise actually but uh, how can we do that for that we define or we consider and the identity uh, identity function from uh, x to x it is very clear that the identity function is uh, uh, that can be defined as i of x equal to x for all x and element of x and this identity function is clearly one to one okay and then uh, it is on to also it's one to one and on to so first two conditions are satisfied right uh, then uh, if if the function uh, i uh, the, 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 the function i uh, is continuous also the identity function is continuous and then uh, um, uh, due to that reason uh, it's inverse uh, uh, inverse function what is the inverse function of the identity function that's i inverse i inverse equal to i itself the identity inverse of the identity function is uh, uh, is is the same function i uh, and that's also continuous both i and i inverse are continuous therefore the every topological space is topologically equivalent to uh, the same uh, space it is topologically equivalent to itself so the relation uh, the uh, the relation is uh, that uh, uh, topologically equivalent topologically equivalent relation is uh, reflexive okay thus we have proved that uh, it is reflexive next to uh, next what uh, remains is that uh, we want to show that it is uh, symmetric the relation is symmetric uh, for uh, we consider uh, but we have mentioned that uh, earlier in our discuss uh, in, in our discussion we have uh, already mentioned that it is uh, symmetric but uh, more uh, clearly we want to uh, state it now uh, since f is a uh, uh, yes uh, suppose that x is uh, topologically equal to y c if x is topologically equal to y then there must exist a homeomorphism f from uh, x to y and that homeomorphism will be then one to one on to um, uh, continuous and that homeomorphism will be continuous and inverse uh, uh, you may inverse function will also be continuous then in this situation we can uh, take the inverse uh, inverse function f inverse we know that it is defined if inverse is defined from y to x and the, it, it, it's very easy to see that it is one to one if inverse is one to one and on to uh, uh, moreover uh, see uh, the definition of f ensures that uh, see, uh, the definition of f ensures uh, the, uh, the definition of f as a uh, homeomorphism see f is a homeomorphism we know that f is a homeomorphism f is an existing homeomorphism so its definition ensures that uh, f inverse is continuous f inverse is continuous and f is also continuous and thus uh, it is clear that uh, f inverse can also be a homeomorphism uh, f inverse is a homeomorphism which exists from a y to x therefore uh, very clearly uh, the space y is topologically equivalent to x and thus we get that it is symmetric the relationship is symmetric so combining uh, all the three uh, situations that is it is reflexive uh, the relation is uh, symmetric and it is uh, uh, reflexive symmetric and finally it is uh, transitive and so we can say that uh, the relationship of topological equivalence relationship is a an is, a, is an equivalence relation thus uh, this relation once uh, this relation since this relation exists on that set of all topological spaces uh, it then uh, this relation then can um, uh, partition the uh, set of all topological spaces into equivalence classes each equivalence class will contain see each equivalence class will contain uh, all the topological spaces which are uh, mutually uh, equivalent topologically equivalent so the equivalence classes there exist equivalence classes in the set of all topological spaces uh, each class contains those only those uh, topological spaces which are mutually um, topologically equivalent okay and that's all thank you